Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. Okay, I'm going to try this one more time. If I don't get this one out in the next five minutes, then I'm done. I wanted to come to you and talk to you about, uh, again, please take action on 311. Um, we need everybody out in the street. Anybody who watches this on YouTube ought to be doing something in your own backyard. Be the one who shows up. Go there and stand on the street and hand out flyers, make flyers up, and tell people Fukushima is still happening. It's worse than ever. It's not better. It's not better. And neither is Chernobyl, as a matter of a fact. The birth defects in Chernobyl are still astounding. There isn't a nuclear thing that gets fixed right away, folks. Nothing gets fixed right away. They have no... They honestly have no way to fix it. Or if they do, they're not sharing the plans with us. So we need to stop them. I mean, we really have to stop them. And the only way we're going to stop them is by being in the street, leaning on our politicians. You know, we have to actively engage because, at least here in the States, we have uh, people in power who are not abiding by regulations or the law they're not they're just doing whatever they want in government and they're telling us after the fact that's just the way it is i'm sure jeff sessions has already destroyed all of the documents of anything that he had close even related to the russians so you know what they say they were fiddling while rome burned or something like that i think that's what's happening here my 11-year-old nephew had a heart attack, folks. An 11-year-old boy had a heart attack. Several heart attacks. He's going to have heart surgery on, in April. That's their answer. Uh, you know, I had been following St. Louis for well over a year now. The thing that got me actively engaged in St. Louis because of a child. And now I know how they must feel. I mean, I've never known anybody that was a child that had anything near catastrophic. This is the first thing I've ever heard of. It super sucks. It's really bad. Welcome to the 21st century, I guess, eh? Well, I'm going to be out on the street on the 11th, on March 11th. And I'm going to continue to shake things off. Uh, we don't all think alike. We don't all think that we need we can achieve the ends the same way. I'm just, uh, I'm actually dumbfounded. So I, as you can tell, I'm without words. That hardly ever happens. <laughs> An 11 year old boy had a heart attack. An 11 year old boy had a heart attack. And people think Fukushima is, they're fixing it. It's not so bad, it's okay. No, it's not okay, folks. It's not okay. And it's not going to be okay. Although, if we're going to build the culture of life, we have to look at what life is. We have to appreciate life, right? But we have to demand the scientists be free. We need to free the scientists. Free the scientists from greed. That's what they need. Scientists need to be freed from greed. Oh my gosh, I guess I'm super tired, so I'm just going to ah, go to bed. I don't know if I'll post this up. Maybe I will. Put your courage feed on you guys. I just, 
An 11 year old child's had a heart attack. And my niece is just fit to be tied. The doctors have told her they're not sure that he'll survive the surgery. That's pretty serious. God forbid I would not want that on anybody. Yeah. We have to lean into our democracy. We have to take action. We gotta be smarter about everything, folks. And we have to decide that we're gonna live and we're not gonna let them destroy our lives. And we're not gonna let them get to us and tear us apart and make us hate each other. It's not gonna happen. So for all the YouTubers that say shit about me, I don't hate you. You know, for all the activists who say they're gonna do shit and then they just don't, or whenever you think of an idea and they don't wanna do it because it's not their idea, you know, doesn't matter. Forward is forward, no matter how fast we go, and that's what we're gonna do. So. Put your courage feet on you guys. Ciao. According to evacuate-fukushima.com, 30 bags now have totally empty out, have also been found. Its radioactive content is back in the environment, and that is just on that site alone. The media is only reporting 82 bags that were displaced in the rain in the entire prefecture. Liars. And I tend to believe the people and not the media. Radioactive substances spewed by the crippled Fukushima number one nuclear plant were swept away in the flooding of rivers in the Fukushima prefecture, the environmental ministry said. A total of 82 bags were discovered, with 37 of them recovered Friday. Though it remained unclear how many had been washed away, the ministry said. Scores of the thousand liter bags were used during the cleanup work, and mainly to store surface soil that had been decontaminated from the release of the plant, which was heavily damaged in the March 2011 earthquake and tsunami. From the reports I've seen, they actually found 37 bags that were opened and emptied of their contents. Who knows how many hundreds more bags could be just like that. Have a look over at E&E &E News. TV floods threaten Fukushima plant structures. It's a nuclear nightmare territory then. Yeah, if you have too much water sinking beneath the plant, it's just going to lift up some of these radioactive isotopes to make this area a lot more and harder to deal with. A lot of nuclear fuel has actually gone into the ground and will come out at the surface if groundwater rises which we know it's doing. 
radiation levels flowing into the ocean much higher than usual. Mm -hmm. How many times more than usual? Hmm. 10 times, 100 times. Floods may pose threat not only to radiation under Fukushima but also structures. Severe floods have hit Japan, sending tons of radiation contaminated water from Fukushima nuclear plants into the ocean. Was asked, uh, he had made some reference to the enlightened mind being like a mind of a child. Chris Busby, Scientific Secretary of the European Committee of Radiation Risks. There's an enormous amount of radioactivity underneath the plant. The reactors are holed and a lot of the fuel is actually in the ground. And that's mixing with the groundwater. Well, normally what they do is they pump that water away, but because the groundwater becomes heavily contaminated. And then they pump those into the big tanks. But of course, if the groundwater rises as usual, as a result of the rain, then that stuff will just come out of the ground, the surface of the ground. And the second problem, of course, is the effect, the integrity of the structures, the actual building structures and the four reactors. And of course, you're into really serious, serious nuclear and more territory. Then it surprised me that they have, haven't got enough pumps to deal with this situation. It's not a situation that's impossible to predict. I mean, all along the lines, we're being told that Tesco could possibly have predicted this and couldn't possibly have predicted that. Well, the answer is they should have. Bags of tan water swept into the Fukushima River during torrential rains. Seven sites for radioactive waste generated from the Fukushima nuclear crisis were submerged during torrential rain. Raising fears over a possible radiation spill into the environment at the Fukushima No. 1 nuclear plant. Heavy rains caused radiation tainted water from reaching and going into the ocean ditches, but the torrential rains overwhelmed the gates twice in the pre dawn hours of September 9th and September 11th, the plant operator said. Utility officials said rainfall increases the radioactivity level of the water in the drainage system as rainwater accumulates radioactive materials in surrounding soil when it flows into these ditches. While the drainage water usually contains less than 100 becquerel of beta ray emitting radioactive substances per liter, water measured 750 becquerels per liter on September 11th. TEPCO officials. Now if we go by their measurements, they're just telling us that the measurements they're gathered. That's a 700% increase just off their numbers alone. NHK September 11th of 2015, rainwater overflows from Fukushima plant. Tepco said on Friday that it's confirmed the leaks through video footage of the complex. Operator said the leaks occurred at 3 a.m. at 5.20 a.m. and at 6 a.m. on Friday for a total of more than two and a half hours. Tepco is now checking the radioactive levels of rainwater samples taken from the channel.